name is Jordan Richards. I'm 16 years old. I currently attend American Heritage of Boca del Rey, and I do parkour. when I was about 12 years old. Um, it went actually through my brother. And most people, when they ask, when I say that to them, they ask, oh, does your brother do parkour? No, he does not. Uh, what my brother did instead, though, was that he recorded a TV show that was coming on, and it was called MTV's Ultimate Parkour Challenge. Um, and he basically came to me and he said, look, this is something that I really think that you'd like, and I just want you to give it a shot and just look at it and see what you think. Um, and the minute I saw it, I was instantly hooked. Like, not even 10 minutes into the show, I was already doing vaults over my couches. And then it grew from that. It really, my, my parents saw that I started to like it more and more. They got me into gymnastics classes for a few months. Um, I, I progressed wildly in the gymnastics classes. And I've just basically stuck with open gyms and training by myself and on my own, and teaching me and myself everything that I really want to learn. Um, I would really like to do parkour as a profession. The, the way it is right now, now is that it's very limited. There's there's basically three different kind of jobs that you can do with parkour, and one is the stuntman, one is the teacher or running a gym for it, and one is competitions. Now, when you say competitions, a lot of people don't like it because it kind of goes against the whole philosophy of parkour and free running being this self-expressive thing and being something that's supposed to be unique and stylistic to just you alone. And so a lot of people say when you bring up competitions, they're like, I don't agree with it because I don't really see how you can judge something that's so individualistic. And they basically judge it on difficulty, flow, um, originality, and creativity. I mean, I, I would absolutely love to do parkour as a profession. I would love to go into the movie business. I've, I've started acting because of it because I really want to expand uh, as much as I can and see how far it can really take me. Um, so how often do I train is a pretty difficult question to answer, honestly, because mentally I'm training all the time. Every new environment that I go to, every place that I go to, I'm constantly looking at jumps and if I really am interested in one, I'll just go ahead and do it. Just jumps that scare me or jumps that I need to work on or flips that I, I, I've always wanted to try but I've never really had the confidence so I go out and push myself. Um, yeah, I do watch American Ninja Warrior, and yes, I've thought about competing. Honestly, it's, it would be the perfect kind of competition for me. It's basically centered around the entire sport of parkour. Sadly, you do need to be 21 years old in order to compete, and as I said earlier in this interview, I'm not 21 years old yet. I mean, about thinking about parkour, really when you take on parkour as a sport and as a lifestyle, it's, it, it affects everything. It's this mentality that sticks with you forever. It's really parkour in a sense of thinking freely and seeing the environment and seeing what society has put restrictions on in the environment, challenging society and challenging what people set rules to be. I see jumps, I see flips, I see a big gap that I could jump over. It's, it's all limitless impossibilities. Basically, any time that I go into a jump, it's it's not about feeling a certain feeling. When I, when I finally get the jump, and if I try it multiple times, and I finally land it right, or I finally land it with the right form that I want, I'm elated. Um, so I've had aspirations for several months now to start my own parkour-based clothing company. Um, and basically it's just a bunch of different designs that sort of re resemble how parkour can be used to unify a certain culture, to unify the world as, in general, all through creativity and movement and creativity and lifestyle. Honestly, one of the most interesting and most riveting parts of parkour, for me at least, is really the feeling that you get when you're in the middle of a jump. Time seems to slow down and it pauses while you're mid-air and everything that you've been worrying about throughout the day is just gone. Everything disappears. The only thing that you care about is your jump, your landing, and knowing that you're going to be safe out of it. And in that one single moment, nothing else matters. Oh my god, we're gonna break this reset! <laughs>